we solve for the t and the y. Because solving for t and the x doesn't really seem like it's making sense. You got it? OK? Because then you'd have to take the square root. You have plus or minus, and it's not going to be very pretty. Actually, you know what? Let's just do it and then see what we would get. So if you solve this for t, you would get t equals plus or minus the square root of x. Plug that into the equation, y equals plus or minus the square root of x plus 1. Does anybody know what that graph looks like? Does anybody know what the graph would look like, though? Does anybody know what the curve is? Yeah, but you have the positive square root, and you also have the negative, negative square root curve. So yeah, it is. Um, it is a parabola. But it's just not the parabola that we're used to. So it might be easier to look at it this way. If we, so instead of doing it solving for t and the x, which is preferred, but not always what you want to do. If we solve for this over here, we would have t is equal to y minus 1. Plug that into there, we get x equals y minus 1 squared. Again, if the variables were switched around, what would this be? What would this be the shape of? Parabola. Oh, I'm sorry, that's an x, right? That's a parabola, right? Shifted one unit to the right, opening up, correct? So, but now that's not what we're doing. We're doing this one. So, again, it's going to be a parabola, but it's not going to open up, though, right? It's actually going to open up to the side, right? And it's actually going to open up to the positive horizontal distance, which would be opening to the right. Since this is positive, it opens up. This one is positive, so it's going to open right. So it's a parabola which opens right. Now, if you're like, ah, I'm still not kind of, don't worry, guys. We're going to spend a whole chapter learning this. I am simply just introducing you to this stuff. Yes? Can you write an equation where the parabola opens left? Yeah. There it goes. Opens left. OK? Huh? Just negative, right? If I have a parabola opening up and I want it to open down, I just make the negative, right? Okay. So if it automatically positive, it opens to the right. Then if I want to make it to the left, I just make it negative, okay. correct? Now, let's not believe me. Let's plug this into our calculator. Can we plug these two equations into our calculator, into our parametric equation to verify? Mm -hmm. Yes, let's go and do that. See what you guys get. Now, I will warn you 